Ten. Look where he's aiming this ball, Rich. I mean, <laughs> way to the right. There's a bunker out there about 280 yards, which obviously he can carry. Wow. <laughs> to Ricky, get that far to the right and still got it in the fairway. The great thing about Ricky is he plays shots. He Lots does. Lots of different shots. Absolutely. Now, look, let's take a look here. He's even gripping down a little bit on the driver. So obviously Ricky's found a little something there, and that's that new takeaway that uh, he's worked on so hard with Butch Harmon, uh, trying to get the club a little bit more on plane halfway back. And I think this is one area of his game that has improved dramatically, his driving of the golf ball. His misses are not nearly as bad as they were uh, before working with Butch, and consequently he's not making as many. Give him credit, he keeps coming back to the Honda Classic. Garcia. On the tee here, dogleg right, par four, longest par four on the golf course, just under 500 yards. Oh boy. Yeah, and that uh, is through the fairway and into the trees on the left-hand side. Good look here at Sergio's lower body and that lag that he is so famous for. Released the club maybe a little early. Got it started a little left of where he wanted. Difficult to judge the wind here on 16 tee. Love how he hits down on those uh, fairway metal clubs. I mean, took a divot there, even though it was on the tee. And this is uh, this is the secret. This is how he hits these low piercing shots. First of all, it's the lag. Look how the club is dragged down, and then look at the divot that he takes. Boom! Compressing the ball against the ground. Fun to watch. Already driven in the fairway here at the par 412. Garcia trying to play a little squeeze fade. Appears to have done it very nicely. That'll find the fairway as well. Well, we talk a lot, Johnny, uh, about Garcia's swing. We're going to use our NBC it to show what we call lag. And Sergio has as much of it in his golf swing, I think, as any player playing PGA Tour at this point in time. And Zoom in right about there. Look at the where the club head is. Look where the hands are. Look how the shaft is bending. Now his dad, Victor, who's his only teacher, taught him, taught him that from the top to feel like you were pulling a chain with your left hand to hold that angle as long as possible before you get to impact. Rock straight left arm the whole way. 